So after you've done those low lunge poses, a nice one, you can even do right, right, left, left, but let's keep it simple. You can go back into that position. You can always take that little recovery of a, a minute or so in between your poses. But then from your lunge pose, you can come into what we call a half splits. You can move your blocks wider, closer, higher, lower. Um, activate your toes slightly so you pull them in towards each other. I personally really prefer to have a straight back. Um, reason being that I feel that in society at the moment, a lot is forward, we're on our computers, we're driving cars, maybe washing dishes. So anything that kind of opens up the collarbone, that kind of lengthens the spine in that counter position helps me. I don't want to be hinging forward um, for the rest of our lives because as we go older, that's going to happen anyways. So that's just my reasoning behind it. You can have different reasons for doing it differently. But yeah, just come into your half splits. You can use your blocks or maybe your hand, the hands will touch the floor. You can come into fingertips. Um, you can even put something underneath if you feel that you need the support for, for the leg. It's actually quite nice. You use your bolster or, or if you have something that you can roll up quite thickly, you can place it under the, the calf as a support, place your hands on top. There's so many different variations. And the most important thing is that you find something where you can breathe, where you feel you can let go of the tension. Um, the jaw can actually be a really nice indicator if you feel that you're clenching your jaw or like really bringing tension in your neck and your shoulders. Then just back off a little bit. Be in a space where you can breathe, where you can really have good and happy thoughts. And if other kind of thoughts come up, it's fine. You are processing, you're digesting, you are connecting the subconscious and the conscious. So let it be there and know that you don't have to do anything. You can move out of things, you can come deeper. It's really a practice of stillness. It's a practice of compassion and self-love. So this would be half splits. Again, set your timer for three, five, and depending on how much time you have, probably five minutes is a nice, a nice length. And if you feel that after a certain moment, like, oh, I've got more space, you can always bring your hands down, you can go deeper, you can go less deep. One thing is not better than the other. It's just your body reacting to being in a certain shape, um, tension, moving in or out or distributing itself uh, through your fascia, through your bones, through your cells, through your muscles, uh, and not even the physical, so the emotional and the mental body. So yeah, pick your time, set your time and do it on the right side. You can take a break, again, maybe in child's pose. A different variation here for child's pose also would be nice is an embryo pose where you bring your hands to your feet and then you do the other side. So that already gives you another nice hip opener. Enjoy, enjoy the music, enjoy the breath specifically. Um, keep close to the breath, stay with your deep long in and exhales. And even if you want, you can make your exhales a little longer than your inhales. So I often count around four to five to six counts to breathe in. And then your exhales can even really be smooth and long. So you can really calm down the central nervous system.